Well, we cannot forget when New York City was in the grips of this pandemic. Hospitals and funeral homes were overwhelmed. Bodies were actually piling up. Refrigerated trucks were brought in to store the bodies. Well, now, more than one year later, hundreds of bodies are still sitting in the trucks along the Brooklyn waterfront. News Force Miles Miller is in Sunset Park with the story. This is Pier 39 in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, and since the beginning of the pandemic, it's been used as a temporary morgue for the city's medical examiner's office. Inside these refrigerated trailers here are the bodies of 750 people who died at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, some as a result of the coronavirus and others from different causes. During the height of the pandemic, the city took the extraordinary step of storing bodies in cold storage here as city morgues were overrun with the COVID dead. The remains moved here to Pier 39. A spokeswoman for the city medical examiner's office tells News 4, quote, the temporary morgue was created at the height of the pandemic to ensure that families could lay their loved ones to rest as they see fit. With sensitivity and compassion, we continue to work with individual families on a case-by-case -case basis during their period of mourning, end quote. For some here, the medical examiner's office has had contacts with their families. They've chosen to let their remains be buried at Hart Island, which is a city-owned public cemetery, the largest in the country. For others, the city has lost contact with their next of kin. Each year, about 1,200 people are buried on Hart Island. Last year, that number more than doubled. This year, 504 people have been buried there. FEMA is offering $9,000 in reimbursements for COVID-related funeral expenses. As of today, FEMA tells us they've received some 17,000 applications. In Sunset Park, Brooklyn, I'm Miles Miller, News 4.